Hi, my name is Russell Petrie. I am the Fire Chief of the Oriskany Falls Volunteer Fire Department. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. First of all, you have to have a passion to, to do it. You have to be energetic and enthusiastic. And there, there's a, a good degree of physical exertion to it, and you have to be fairly intelligent to do it. It's not just, uh, not just anybody can do it. A lot of being a good firefighter is, is training. We are uh, fortunate to have a New York State fire instructor within our department and we're also fortunate to have a retired Oneida City deputy chief in our department. So those two gentlemen have a tremendous amount of knowledge. And the fire instructor obviously has the resources and the uh, techniques, the training techniques to help our firefighters um, become better at what we do, more proficient at uh, the skills that are needed. Uh, to become a good firefighter. Steve Royce and 50 years of service. I've been in three different fire departments, Oxford, Waterville, and now Riskin Falls. I'm also a state fire instructor, so I teach firefighting. I find that, uh, you know, I think a lot of the younger people coming in are just looking for something to do. Um, this is a great place to do it. Uh, I think there's several things that come into play here. Um, but obviously the community service end of it, I like to run the fire trucks. Uh, I'm, uh, I think I'm a fairly good pump operator, confident, and uh, I really enjoy doing that. The main thing is that they'd have to be committed. Uh, the training hours are long, um, but once you're through these basic programs uh, in the interior firefighting program, uh, it, it, there's a lot of places you can go. And if you're looking at doing it as a, as a volunteer, um, once you've accomplished the training that transfers between departments. Uh, and again, the, I think the biggest thing is that for a young person, there's the possibility of going on to being a paid firefighter, either federal or city. Um, you know, there's, uh, there's a lot of opportunity. Um, besides the fact that most of my family is in the fire department, it is important to me to volunteer and give back to my community as much as possible. This community has given me a lot. It's obviously given me my home. It's given me a place to grow up, a place to learn, um, a place to go to school. So it's important for me to give back to my community. Well, I'm actually going to school to be a firefighter right now. And I, I live in a firehouse all 24-7, run fire calls out by Syracuse, actually. So it's that's I got my start here, and I've started moving that towards the career side of it. If they want to help out, their community or just be a part of something, I would strongly encourage this because the people that I uh, go through with, they make you feel at home. They don't make you single out or anything and they get you involved. Come join us. We need help. Um, more people we have, the more it makes our job a lot easier.